it was awesome, mate, to be honest. Like playing with Coxie for those couple of years uh, that he was um, there with me was unreal because um, it really fast-tracked my development. Hadn't played a lot of ruck, to be brutally honest. I was more of a key forward. And, um, yeah, uh, he was unreal in, in, in on, with his tutelage. And then, and then playing with Nick was just um, – there's not much you can learn off Nick because like, you, 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 you literally just don't have the capabilities <laughs> that he has. Um but uh, it was an awesome, um, the Coxie was probably one for me that, you know, he didn't have the biggest leap, um, but he was very, very skillful, very, very crafty with all of his work. And yeah, he was unreal to, to be trained by. What were some of those things that, that you remember Dean Cox teaching you? Were there certain sort of like rock secrets that you're like, oh my gosh, that's like a, you know, because obviously he, he will go down as one of the best of all time. So to learn at such a young age must have been a pretty big thing and then you would have taken some sort of tools into your own belt from him yeah definitely i used to um i actually used to watch his tape every single weekend and the thing i'd pick up from him is just basically his work rate and i just remember how fit and how hard he would run so i'd always i used to have um, a piece of paper and i kind of used to like draw where he would run on the ground and and things like that when I wasn't playing. But um, no, he just had so much. He, he was so dynamic as a player. And I think, you know, I, I wouldn't compare myself anywhere to the level of Dean Cox, but just picking up a few things, like he just really revolutionised ruck work, I reckon, that you can actually be a really skillful player. Like I remember one time at West Coast, he was taking kickouts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, probably, I'm not sure where West Coast were on the ladder at the point. They might have just been trying to try anything, but he was taking kickouts there for a few weeks. And I'm like, far out, like what's, you know, this guy's just absolutely nuts. But I think his ability to play forward as a ruckman for me was um, something that I really admired and I really, um, I really kind of learned a great deal off him. And I think when, when Nick came into the side, he kind of had to change his role and he started off as a forward. And I think he ended up kicking 30 goals as a um, 30 goals one year as a backup ruckman to Nick. So um, the fact that he was so dynamic and he was so crafty up forward was something that I really tried to, to take into my game as well. He's a coach at Sydney now. I mean, you're, you're still playing with Sydney. I probably didn't mention that off the top. I mean, traded the West Coast to Sydney, but you're still toiling away at Sydney. Um, what's that relationship like, given that he was a player once and comes over as a coach uh, to Sydney? What's he like as a coach? Yeah, look, he, he's, he's really great. Um, I think the last – I think Sydney's been no, – I'm not going to talk for Dean, but I think Sydney's been a really fantastic um, move that he made. He's uh, got a lot of responsibility at the footy club. His coaching journey is, um, is really going to flourish, I think. I'm not too sure what his aspirations are in terms of, you know, potentially being a head coach one day. That's probably a question that he can ask. But, um, you know, I've played with him and been coached by him for, you know, the entirety of my career, bar maybe one year. And, um, yeah, he, he's grown into a, to a fantastic coach. So he basically runs our midfield now and, I'm sure he's definitely got aspirations to um, to further his um, his coaching prowess. So it'd be pretty cool to um, to watch from the sidelines to see um, to see how he goes over the next you know maybe 10, 20 years because he's definitely a very passionate about the game. 